So, the 2022 Summer Invitational Wrap-Up Special. Yeah, this is kind of a thing now. Don't worry, it's only one time. I promised Andy Hine, 88, or Andrew Henrich just that, that I would do this. It's from last night. Anyway, now keeping that promise, since we have more downtime than ever. Uh, yeah, what were my thoughts on it? Well... Let's see, the group stages, I mean, there was 15 in matches, of course. I think it was kind of obvious during day one or two that Beck and Dan had their spots solidified. I'd honestly. And the fact that Uno and Brian Ray definitely were not going to make, definitely were going to have to earn their right during the first play-in. Then, of course, uh, other vets like Andy got better, or surprisingly. I mean, some of us remember in 2019 where he made the top 16 and then. And then, wow. He's, yeah, he's gotten a bit better on some of the matches. Is, could he... I mean, could this spark... I mean, could this tournament spark a new wave of VA hopefuls? Of Virginia hopefuls in the future? Who knows? Because, I mean, Rage Quid's been in the top 16 before. And Andy's been in the top 16 before. But he played some of the some of the matches like a pro. Oh. Then of course you have returning veterans who haven't been up to par like Jones or Jake. But Kyle, definitely a good definitely a pretty good comeback. Never would have thought uh, he would have made it in the top three. But then again, I mean Alright. And Haddock, no, I don't think we've seen, I don't think we've ever seen Haddock in the VA tournament, have we? <clears throat> so it was a really respectable old rookie interpretation here. Here, and definitely probably the hot shot. Then, uh, let me see, am I missing anything? Let's see, there's Dan, Beck, Kyle, Jones, Holmes, Jake, well, yeah, Jake. Oh, yeah, Jake, that's right. I, yeah, also also a bit okay a at times. Uh, no offense, I know. I mean, I know he's from Philly. Definitely a half hour away from me. Well, not at the not at the moment, but will be. We'll be back to being that way in a few. Anyway, am I also missing anyone in EG? And yeah, that battle between Andy and Jake. Having it all come down to the final match, match as a play in, and yeah, and yeah, that was pretty good. Sadly, there were no tiebreakers. I was hoping it would be either Mike. I mean, there was rumors stating it'd be Micro Mountain being the tiebreaker. I was hoping maybe the town track that Abney was working on in twenty twenty one would also be a good potential uh, tiebreaker, or as well. Anyway, uh, I think we're out of the group stage. Asia, and uh, my opinion on the play-ins. Yeah, I think it was no surprise that Andy was going to make it it to the second play-in. But yeah, having the whole thing come down to ooh, which vet I wants it more. And Jake, I mean, yeah. First final since 2015, FYI. I, if, if, um, if nobody in the Twitch chat got the uh, trivia from last night. Or facts in this case, not questions. But yeah. But yeah, there were no first timers in the finals. Which um I think it was Oh no, it's the second tournament in a row, come to think about it. Because uh I'm very sure Kyle was the uh first timer in twenty eighteen, if I'm correct. And then, of course, there were first-timers for finalists like Matias and Beck. Zoran and Boss made it in 2016 and 2012, in retrospectively. Actually, Boss was the 2012 champ. Yeah, and Zoran was the winner in 2016. But anyway, to this year's finalists. Dan, we've seen him before in 2015 and 2019. Ian in the finals. And Beck... Every tournament made the finals. And it felt kind of odd to have them in play in the play-ins. 
the, yes, I'm calling the group stage the play-ins, of course. And I think the play-in one should have been uh, quarterfinals. And play-in two should have been called the semis. And then, uh, and then, yeah. And yeah, it was pretty interesting to see Dan and win it all. Oh, honestly. I mean, that's probably the first thing he's ever won. I was contemplating whether it be a first-time champion because Ben was the only... Beck Abney was the only repeat champion from 2018. The other three did not win, did not win a title well, in the VA tournament. And, yeah, honestly, if in this video, I don't want to hear... I don't want to hear any crap on how VA and, and uh, the Summer Invitational are different. And they, they feel the same to us. They feel like literally the same way to some of us. Us, honestly. <clears throat> but yeah. But yeah, I felt good to see a first tournament since three years ago. I'm definitely going to contemplate. Ain't this into future years. Who knows? <sighs> yeah. Also, kind of wondering where the future of the VA tournament archive is going to go. Oh, honestly. Because I remember I was supposed to do a, uh, a special in the previous fall, like, like any controversies, honestly. But yeah, we'll have to see how it goes from here. Not making any promises this time. But yeah, this has been Zubidoo77, signing off. Hopefully, either next year we'll be playing in... in uh, maybe a local Invitational if they hold it in the East Coast, hopefully. Maybe return to VA. I mean, maybe going to VA. I mean, if they had a tournament in Phil in Philly or Monroe Township, I'd also be open for that. At being a South Jersey native, clearly. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. Now, Zubi277 officially signing off now.